Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, I previously wanted to do a, a different video. I actually wanted to show you uh, my story about uh, sales, my color lizard. But uh, something came up and uh, I decided to do a different video. So we're gonna leave the other one for next week. And uh, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about a natural lizard behavior enrichment. Now, this actually happened because uh, I shared a video on Facebook and uh and this person was telling me that uh that it wasn't okay and uh i'm gonna share the video The person got mad simply because I wasn't giving, you know, the uh, the super warm to my lizard, and obviously uh, that person didn't understand that uh, that that I was just trying to teach them to hunt, to work for the food, and it's actually something that uh, a lot of beginners tend to do. I actually did it myself. We tend to forget that uh, these are wild animals. Okay, they are not puppies that we need to hand feed them all the time. And it's actually good for them if we teach them to hunt. They need to learn. I did this myself with my leopard gecko. Four years ago, I got really excited because I got her that I was tongue feeding all the time. And in one year, she no longer wanted to hunt. And uh, you know, that's a big problem because then uh, they, they don't eat unless you're tongue feeding. So that's why I want to talk to you guys about uh, this, this uh, you know, uh, behavior. And Right guys, so uh, so if you have any uh, leopard geckos or bearded dragons that I they don't hunt, then uh, uh you you know you still need to make sure that they're gonna eat. So uh, obviously one thing you can do is um one of two, one is simply buy them a bowl where uh, the insects will not get out, and uh, the other one is still tongue feeding them, but you know try to make them go after it, try to uh, make them work for it. It's good for them. It's exercise. Okay, you don't want to you know a uh, obese lizard which actually happens so <sighs> and uh now the other thing is uh it's not just about feeding all right so uh enrichment is also also affects in your uh, in your setup now i think we can we can definitely say that we have all seen th those uh those people asking what can i put in a 10 gallon a 20 gallon container and Guys, that is way too small for probably any lizard. And uh, you know, the only thing that can actually live in there is a baby. That's it, a juvenile. An adult, I mean, I have I have seen so many times where people say, you know, for a for a bearded dragon, a forty gallon is fine, and it's not. You know, I would say that the least is a seventy five gallon tank. So uh, in your setup, it's it's not just about the size of the tank. Um, and well, first of all, I don't even know why so many people are always saying, you know, tank, tank. I feel like a wooden enclosure, it's a, a lot better. But, you know, whatever. I mean, it's your decision at the end of the day. Uh, you just need to make sure that uh, everything is correct. And uh, like I said, it's not just about the size. It's um, also about what you have in there. Uh, 
a lot of people are always asking what is uh you know the best substrate for it and i think it's plain and simple i mean the best it's always loose substrate dirt and uh you know just just so you know when i say loose substrate that doesn't mean that all of them because i mean there are some bad for them like you know just regular um regular uh, regular sand it's not the best and a really bad one is Kelsey sand and another one is one that is called um, desert blend which is actually a uh, walnut and it's bad for them okay so so uh, so you always think that um dirt with a uh, mixed with a uh, with play sand that one is the best and like I said you can definitely have a uh, a football just to make sure that uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna eat any dirt in accident the other one is uh you know we have all seen two those tanks that uh they put you know whatever substrate but then they have only you know a hide and then a, a dish bowl and then maybe a water bowl and that's it and now there that is uh, where where I think that it's um it's bad for your lizards because uh, I mean you need you need to put stuff where they're gonna do something like uh you know climbing rocks so uh climbing a simple branch hiding under leaves and uh that is exactly my point you know that is uh that is natural behavior enrichment that is something that uh, they would do in the wild and it's good for them it's exercise and it's gonna keep them happy because they got something to do nobody wants to be wandering around a room full of nothing just to hide so I mean think about it you know like I said in my previous video it's your job to keep them to keep them healthy and happy so so I mean you can actually use real rocks I mean that doesn't mean that you're gonna go and grab any rock and then that's it you know there is uh there is some uh, you can you can wash them and uh, bake them that's what I do the the last thing is that uh, I have seen too when uh, where where people say you know uh, what do you do at night like you turn off all the lights yeah you should you should turn off all, your, all of your lights they need a day and night cycle it's it's not good for anybody not for not for you not for your lizards to have lights on all day so I mean if your house or you know apartment whatever if it gets colder then I would say 80 for most lizards some you know some can go lower than uh, than 70 if it gets you know, well you need to find out first all right but uh, my point is uh, if it goes lower to than what it should then you can always use a, a heat pad heat mat or um, you know what's called the uh, ceramic heat bulb that one is just uh, it just gives the the heat and no light no those are good for them Alright guys, so uh, that's gonna be all for this video. I just hope that uh, I'm I'm just trying to teach somebody to the beginners because uh, I know I did a lot of mistakes. I probably did all the mistakes that you can think of. And the best thing that I can do is try to teach others when, you know, when they are barely starting. So, well, I hope that you guys like this video. And uh, if you liked it, please put a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time. Tell them bye. Bye.